Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to show you what I'm doing for the x-axis actually first one uh, I wanted to show you that I bought the linear guides and it's 100 no uh, 150 centimeter 1500 millimeters uh, it's pretty long and it's two centimeter uh, linear guide so my problem was how to build the uh, intersection between the y-axis and the x-axis and that's what I've done yesterday um, I had a vertical drill bit so to drill in aluminum uh, pieces uh, holes for the the linear guides and I've done this and here on the vertical side to uh, build the x-axis I'm going to use uh, some uh, extrusion aluminum extrusion I think this is uh, um, I think it's 80 uh, 80 or 112 I have to check again let me, give me a second let me put you down here so that you can check it out what I'm going to do A second, a second. I don't have a so this actually eighty eighty millimeters by uh, two millimeters. Okay, so I'm going to use this kind of uh, aluminum extrusion to do the x-axis um, so I had the problem to how to um, um, interface or how to uh, screw in between the y-axis and the x-axis so I come up with this I'm going to I'm going to unscrew what I've done yesterday uh, let me see put you down here okay so and hopefully I've done a good job was not that easy okay this one comes out okay good. as you can see so so this is the plate let me clean it a bit So basically the linear guides go here and here there too and then in vertical side I'm going to have the uh, aluminum extrusion this gets stuck okay let me move this guys that was loud Yeah, 
So I have to clean a bit this case. Let me get this tool. Sorry, I found the tool to clean the, the holes. Um, I think I need the, yeah, I need the drill bit. Okay. Looks okay. Let me see if this guy needs some cleaning. No, this guy doesn't need it. Was it symmetric? Um, no. As you can tell here, there is uh, probably a millimeter to the right. Um, Yeah, millimeter to the right is okay because this is just the x axis. So I'm going to build it like this. Let me move this guy here. Basically, there's this guy here, and this is mounted like this. And the, the x, sorry, like that. And the x-axis, x-axis and y-axis here. So the linear guides are mounted here, and the x-axis on top of here. Now I need to understand if I put it external, and I think that I'm going to put it external. So the x-axis is like that, and the y-axis is on top like this. Uh, second again. Yeah, so because um, um, I have a fixed uh, height on the x-axis, I think it was uh, 40, 40 or 50 uh, centimeter. So I'm going to use a longer extru extru extrusion, aluminum extrusion, maybe uh, 60 or 80, so that for now what I'm printing it's okay 40, but if I want to make it higher, the x-axis, I just uh, slide this one down and I have higher, higher uh, x-axis. So the x-axis doesn't move vertically. And uh, why is that? Is because, um, let, me let me show you. It's because for the x-axis, for the extru extrusion, extruders, I'm going to be using this guy. 
So there will be only one V, V. It's going up and down this guy, while the X axis is fixed. And it's not moving uh, up and down on the X axis. Okay. Uh, so the X axis is horizontal. Sorry, and this is the Z axis. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I explained it correctly, but uh, so this is this is uh, this is the Z axis, but the entire, the entire uh, Z with the X is fixed. It's not moving. It's not moving vertically, because I have this uh, uh, this guy here that is doing the work. That is in the middle of the X axis. Uh, as soon as uh, I'm going to build, uh, it would make sense. It's very. It's basically what the CNC machine use, where the Z axis is. Uh, is done by this guy and the entire ZX axis it doesn't move it moves only in a horizontal way in the Y direction the, so the X uh, and the Z are one block they don't move vertically because the Z axis is is actually this guy is moving okay so these sides are part of uh, the X uh, if you will, exact x axis. There are mosquitoes around here. Okay, so now I'm going to mount. Uh, first, I'm going to mount uh, this uh, linear guys, this guy on the side here, and then I'm going to start to mount this guy. Okay. So give me a second, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm aligning the linear guide with the. With the y axis and now i need to mount it i already mounted on the other side and mount it on this side and what i've done i put some uh, lug nuts on the bottom here inside the channel and uh, i alternate i don't want to put uh, every hole um, so i put i think uh, uh, 10 something like that and I will lock them okay so I'm going to do that now and I'll see you in a bit so that if I need to adjust it I don't have to redo everything okay okay this frame back on the legs and start to build the uh, f actually to figure out the x-axis frame xz axis frame okay that's in a bit uh, here again so I attached the plate aluminum plate to the linear guide and this is comes this is how it comes out like this okay and uh, i'm going to test it now on the 
long learner guides and what I'm thinking I'm going to place the other uh, aluminum steel in the back like this so it will run like this okay so let's try to do that don't want to lose any uh, any spherical balls and things there. So let's do the transfer. Nice. There it is. Very cool. And it's very stable. Yeah, th there is no play. Very cool. Now, of course, I can uh, adjust the I have to uh, okay. I have to I can adjust the uh, the settings inside the the uh, inner rail. Let me give it clean here. And then you can put some oil and stuff just to. But what I like is it came out really good. Uh, there is no play. Uh, so I'm satisfied. It's a very good job. Let me uh, tighten these balls. And then I'm going to test the vertical axis. Now, as I mentioned before, I wanted to, to have it external, so I need to decide this uh, external so that I can use a longer, um, longer uh, aluminum extruder, ex extrusion, so that I can decide how tall will be the uh, entire X axis you know uh, because I don't need uh, I don't need the x-axis to go up and down if I want because I, I'm printing at a certain height you know, I won't go higher than that so I don't need this guy to go up and down no not this guy but the the x-axis doesn't go up and down like this okay uh, in the act in the Z axis this is fixed this is fit this is fixed so it will be like this the fixed a certain height and then there will be the Z axis that moves the two uh, pellet extruders so I need to figure out if I want it uh, if I put it on this side which is probably the better one I need to cut to a certain uh, specific height this aluminum extrusion instead if I want to external it then which is the mo most uh, uh, flexible one which I like I need to since I have this this screws here and this is very large I need to put some uh, some spacer in the back. I have to figure out if it's uh, if it's good enough or not. Okay, so I'll be back. I'll tie this, guys, and then I'll try to do the other uh, part.
so I attached um, I didn't tie it yet but I attached the the um, X vertical uh, axis to to the linear guide and the aluminum uh, plate I need to tighten the screws and then I'm going to do the other one and then I'm going to test it on the linear guide to see if everything's all right looks good uh, might need to change some screws but that's okay for now it's good okay so I've done both so here the result pretty satisfied with it looks good um, I had to disassemble this one because as I mentioned before I'm off by a couple millimeters on on one side but since I make I made the holes um, on both uh, plates at the same time so this plate was on top of this guy um, they are symmetric so I just uh, had to turn around this one which is okay uh, I don't care so this looks okay so the height from from the bottom here to the top is 38 centimeter uh, it's okay if I need to change I I'm going to switch this guy I'm going to switch this guys with the longer ones and I'm going to attach to the back to the back here so I have that option uh, and it's not uh, it's not difficult just to you know screw all the, the screws and put some plates here for for um, um, rise a bit this guy because I have the screw from the linear guys I can't do anything about that uh, so I know already how to do it so if I need to I know how to do it which is good so I'm going to put this guys on the on the side on the linear guys and I'm going to show you uh, uh, what I mean by the this is the x-axis and the z-axis in is in the middle okay by using this guy so let me do that and I'll get back to you so I mounted the, the, the X here on the linear so this guy moves uh, quite good the other guy doesn't move them that good so I need to figure out how to calibrate this linear guys here and it's very it's kind of hard to move it uh, not really really hard so I need to probably clean this and regulate the linear guide anyway I wanted to show you what I mean by x-axis and z-axis uh, oops okay well drop some stuff so basically I'm going to uh, put this let me show you here this um, extrusion aluminum here on top of the on top of the on top of the x-axis like this okay it's perpendicular uh, not probably this one but I'm going to buy a new one with the right length and, and all that kind of stuff so and hanging from there there will be this guy vertical so this is going to be the x-axis uh, and attached here there will be the two uh, pallet extruder extruders so this guy is going to be uh, actually reversed so this side is going to be attached to the aluminum extrusion like this 
and the entire z axis will move up and down okay so i have you know so i have from here to to the plate which is going to be down here i have uh, let me measure I have around 30, oops, about 37 centimeter, which is pretty good. So this guy is going to be at the top attached to a, to to a um, aluminum extrusion like this one and we have around 30 35 between 30 and 35 uh, height so the z-axis will be around 30 to 35 uh, centimeter um, and then it will move like this on the x-axis by 800 around 800 because it's dual extrusion so I cannot use the old 900 millimeter so maybe 800 or 750 and then this guy is going to move the linear guide is uh, 1500 so this guy is going to move all the way here up here this is the limit here and then, so most likely i can cover the 1200 millimeter that i i had in mind uh, and then the plate is going to be on top of this extrusion here this aluminum and this corner here so i'm going to buy uh, some wood, uh, probably ADF, to do the plate, and then on top of the plate I have the the old uh, the old uh, plate to uh, that needs to be changed because I have the uh, heating uh, induction heating, uh, actually infrared heating. Okay. So this is the probably the hardest part is to put together the frame. Everything else uh, should be a bit easier. So I need to buy this, the x-axis uh, extrusion, the aluminum extrusion piece, and then attach to this guy, and then attach this guy, and then. On the other side, down here, attach the two, the dual extruders. Sounds good. Um, yeah, for now, it's, it's everything is okay. I need to fix. Oop, I need to fix uh, the one down there. Um, the one down there that doesn't move uh, really well. Shouldn't be a problem. Some oil, some. Uh, there are some screws here to fix it. Anyway, so this is all frame. Um, I need to do the x-axis, uh, z-axis, and the plate, and then I have the 3D printer ready to uh, to test. To test, uh, I want to square it first, and then to attach motors and all that stuff. So for now, that's it, and I'll see you next uh, video. Hopefully, I can do the. Uh, uh, everything is going to be done probably and I'm going to do the uh, dual extrusion part with, with the z-axis attached here so if you have any questions please leave it in the comments uh, also please look at the uh, links that I put in the descriptions if you buy some stuff and I'll see you next uh, next video bye bye